Codex is now complete. That's good. Been needing an X for whatever reason. All right, so we got everything's being watered. Got a couple of nice plots going. Hoping we don't have to go back to And I still have two cottons I didn't plant. Oh well. Guess we'll have to put it in this in the dirt somewhere right now. It's not really helpful, but put the wood away and this away and this away and No, we have, no, we do have these guys away and the seaweed away and have a ton of scrap still. And it's good because we need to be able to move all this stuff. So we got to go do what we normally do, and that is pick up the uh, stuff here. Run over, take all our um, stuff out of our whatever we're making. Get our copper bars, then go back over and. Sell all this stuff. Cheese. Cheese. And is. We come back over here. We put everything else in the storage. Gotta get out more copper so we can build. So we can make more copper bars. My thumbstick, I don't like that my thumbstick is starting to stick. It's making light, it's making things more complicated than they need to be. It's just never what you want to happen. You don't want things to be, to be more, you don't want things to be more difficult. You want things to be easier. And that's why we, that's why we, we need the bigger sprinklers, that's why we're using the bigger scarecrow, that's why we've got not a giant farm, but a big enough one. And then if we can get the ultimate scarecrow, and then if we can get the tier three sprinkler, that's when you'll see something really special. Forgot hay, of course. We're eight days in to um, winter, and I'm so done with having to feed these animals every day. This is the reason why I'm kind of why I was kind of like, should we wait until year two to do this? Because I knew this was going to happen, and I really did not want to have to deal with this, but. We did, we just, I decided to go ahead and let's, you know, let's go ahead and get, and get the, get the animals, get the, you know, because so we can get stuff moving along. And then I was like, where's the hay? But I mean, you know, we need to get stuff automated. We just need to get the auto feeder, the auto pattern, all of this other stuff. These animals and they're eating a crap ton of food. 
is like, I'm just like having problems with it. So we're at seven, what is it, 7,800 gold, 7,500. And our inventory is packed, which is making it even more difficult to see what we have in the inventory than usual. Which, as you can probably imagine, is making everything super fun. All right, so we've done that. So all that's done, all of the, uh, well, most of it anyway. Now we need to see, okay, that's stony, they got that. Need any of this for no I think else. So let's go to the museum and donate where we can donate. <clears throat> that's not we that's what we normally do anyway, so there's that. And then everything else we can sell, but we're going to go back underwater again. So we can try to finish. Um, just finish up down there and get it done. So we don't have to go back down there again, which I mean, we will, but. Putting that for putting all that behind us is going to be good. Um, the, the place isn't open with the X yet. Monday. Can we take them something else? Yeah, we do. Like, we need to take them something else to upgrade. We need to take them something else to get working on. Which might be like you're spending more money. We are. And the reason why we're spending more money is because we need. Your silver axe has been upgraded to a gold axe. And we're not going. We're not going to sell. We're not going to turn around and upgrade that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the hoe. Actually, it's only three thousand. It'll take two days. But I'm anticipating needing the hoe for anything for a couple of days. Gonna go straight to where we were whenever. Didn't realize what time it was, I guess. So I'm gonna have to intentionally kind of make this a shorter day, which I'm sure everyone's fine with, to a certain degree.
so much area to cover. But we're just going to do what we normally do, and that's the whole ring or whatever you want to call it, the whole ring pattern that we do. We just go out and then we come in and just this the scythe, this Osmium scythe is so good. It's so just. So good. Could you imagine trying to come down here and do this with the gold scythe? Can you imagine what a what a pain in the butt that would potentially be? Red knob starfish, red spiky. He eats almost everything. That's small enough. I feel like we already had one of those, maybe. Working smooth, smooth. So when we first started this, every you thought, you know, you thought this whole it was like a giant mass of trash. And now it's like, oh, it's nothing. Because it is nothing. It's just, it would be a lot. We would probably already have barely moved anything and be out of stamina if we had a come down here with our gold um, scythe. But the fact that we have this better scythe, it's just so nice. Uh, this should be the last area, I think. And then probably...
may have to try to finish this as fast as we can because I have a place I need to be. But we're still gonna get this get as much of this done as we can. And I really really if we can finish this last bar it's gonna be huge. We got a cutscene which will slow me down and it'll be fine. I already had a sea anemone. Sea anemone. There's one solar orb. If you remember, I don't know how many of you watched have watched back when we first started, but it was like the first couple of days finding the orbs was like it was a, it was hard. It was quite hard actually. Fortunately, we are far from those first days now. This should be the last two orbs. But of course, we still need to finish clearing everything out of here so they can activate all the way where they need to and stuff and all that fun stuff. All right, cutscene. I knew it was going to come. We've, the trees have been healed. It took a long time since we started. It took a long time since we got to the Murfolk Kingdom. But we did it nevertheless. The tremor, we felt, could it be? Probably. Unbelievable, the coral tree, it's healed. It's a miracle to think the land dweller did this. I knew Benayak could do it. This is incredible. It's more beautiful than I remember. The people of our kingdom have been have been this haven't been this haven't been this invigorated for a long time. 
Uda, despite our current respite, I can still sense lingering roots in the land above. We must seek guidance from the from the goddess on how to proceed. Yes, Your Majesty. Let's hope the goddess is as pleased as we are and can offer us guidance. We should head back to the castle. There's an important matter concerning Benaya we need to discuss. Yes, my queen. You read my mind. So this is probably going to slow me down a little bit. Where? I don't even know where to go now. Um, like I said, I kind of need to cut this one a little bit shorter, so let's find... A long way to go. Oh, we still have more, more trash to clear. That's fine, we can do it all. Not sure that I have much... Not sure that I have many roots on the land to deal with. I mean... There's some still around some of the trees, but... The clearing comes so fast now, guys. It all just gets cleared so fast now. It's incredible. I mean, I, you know, like I said before, you can, you can clear it with the, uh, gold, the gold scythe more than you can, more than capable to do that. Or the silver scythe, I wouldn't recommend doing it with either because the osmium just makes it so much faster. It's not even fun, funny. How fast it makes the entire process. Um, probably need to get to the Mer Kingdom, the Merfolk Kingdom, but I don't think we're going to make it there today. Not really sure why we had this. Giant root grow back, but it did. Especially considering I've already been here and I've already cleared all this. All right, let's go to the Merfolk King real quick. Um, I guess we need to talk to the whoever, I guess. King Queen. Okay, maybe not. I see a reflection of Lang and Amaya when I when I speak to the world. It fills me with a mixture of dread and nostalgia. Okay, so maybe there's not anything to talk to them yet about. So let's go back to the. Because uh, I'm surprised it didn't give me a quest, but. We'll just go back to the port and port back to the land and call it good.
didn't know what was happening. Um, all right, what do I have to I don't think I have much to sell. The spiky boy and the sienna enemy, maybe. Sell this. My thumb is, this thumbstick is. Just absolutely. Um, if you ask me, did you get, so do you think you get a lot of stuff? I'd be like, not really. Definitely got my, more than normal, but not a whole lot more, if I'm being honest. We just got a bunch of food to just take care of or whatever. Do I want to put this? Where do I want to put this stuff? I do want to get rid of a large portion of it, so we'll put it in the bottom of here, I guess, for now. Or a space, that's fine. Um, it's five, but like I said, I gotta be someplace, so I'm happy with the progress we made. There's no like I said, there's no rush. Made it through the make it made it through the the uh the ocean, so that's good. So that's I don't we made what twenty four hundred? Okay. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.